I am getting my eyebrows tattooed. This is something that I have been so self-conscious for and it's been a butt of everyone's joke at least once um, because my eyebrows are blonde as blonde and you literally can't see them when I don't dye them and it's just something that I've never really been 100% confident in myself about and I'm actually doing it as a collaboration with a company called uh, Katie Lawrence and Co and this woman is the most beautiful kind person and I'm so excited to collaborate with her so I really hope that you know you enjoy this video hello gonna murder us. Oh, you should go. Go, oh, you should go. I, want, I don't know how you do this shit. With difficulty, you need like arm strength. Yeah, I was gonna say it. It's like holding and a newborn a child. Life. I just don't understand who would do this. I just hire. <laughs> a, I just hire a small man. Hello, to that's who you are. What oh, I just get a boyfriend. <laughs> That's um what you're doing for me right oh, now. You I'm the small, small man. man. I'm the small what are you man. Talking but my dick's here. Alright, we're leaving this. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna go to Rice Boy. So if you're somebody that wants to murder us, <laughs> that's where we will that's, be. That's where we will be. Two days ago. Two. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so just, just in case and you're good going luck. Back in the future. <laughs> and we also don't come here often. Yeah. So. Also, nobody wants to meet me in real life. Nobody <laughs> wants to spend time with me. Did I get that on video? I don't know. <laughs> I hope so. I don't want people to know how to know. I'm ridiculous. Like, you look cute. What do you mean? I just wear this top because my mum bought it for me. And I it actually makes her like happy it. When I wear it. I like it. I don't know. Oh, it's from Shine. Okay, o OOTDs from Shine. Where's the skirt from, boo? Fucking Princess Polly or something. Um, Smith. Shoes are Windsor Smith. She knows that for a fact. It's the only thing she knows about her outfit. <laughs> Cecile. Do me a favor. Make out with him, do it. Make it out. Make it out. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> so after a long awaited, what was that like? A good 20, 30 minutes for some fucking plain nachos. Mine's still in here, but <laughs> this is actually ridiculous. I'm uh, annoyed. <laughs> we have arrived. We have not finished the food. We've put two into one. <laughs> and we waited an hour for it, but we are now at the joint and that's really all that matters. I also see a doggo and I'm really excited. For so that. I'm gonna film, which is bad because I have coffee shaky hands, but <laughs> okay, let's I'm roll. I'm so excited. gets big on YouTube, guys. <laughs> oh my god. Alright. <laughs> we have, what, 10 minutes of numbing oh, left nothing. and then... Have you seen the beauty of this numbing cream? It's really, it's a beautiful thing. Here she comes. The woman herself. <laughs> I'm scared now my breath smells. <laughs> Does it smell bad? It's a weird noise, but... Didn't feel thing.
cleansers, makeup, swimming spas, or direct water on your brows until the peeling has finished. Cool. Okay, so peeling is going to take seven to ten days. So you want to keep them hydrated with cream um, and don't get them wet. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's going to be an oily mess in yeah. ten days. <laughs> When uh, washing your brows, like not your brows, but your face, just go around the brow area gently. So I washed from the eyes down cool. and then I got a, just a wash it, a wash um, the makeup. So it'll be two to three weeks before the true colour appears. Some clients it is perfect, others it might be too light or patchy in some areas. This is normal, it's the first time we're etching into the skin. Um, you might accidentally scratch a bit in your sleeve or the pigment might just come out, that's completely normal. That's what your perfecting session's for. So you can pencil them in until then, but not until they're peeled, Yeah. right? Apply the berry cream three to four times a day. Always apply it before you shower. In between each application, slightly wipe off the old cream before applying the next. So in your little take-home kit, um, are some cotton rounds. Wet them, wring them right out, and then just wipe the cream off gently with that. Okay. Try not to push down on your brows. Um, if your skin is itchy, you're not putting on enough cream. Some people experience more exfoliation than others, and exfoliation is part of the healing process, so don't worry. Usually takes seven to ten days. Colour underneath the brows will be much lighter in comparison to the skin which is coming off. And then they'll take seven to ten days to fully appear after the peeling has finished. Okay. So tomorrow, the next day, you're going to go really dark. You don't want to call me and be like, Katie, I hate you. We've gone too dark. I don't know what we've done. Um, then they start flaking off. So they start flaking little bits will come off on your cotton pad. Um, then they'll go really, really light and you'll think they're all gone. And then the color comes back through a little bit. Okay. Cool. Perfect. That's it. Hello! I have got my eyebrows done. They look amazing. You can't really tell, but I'll put some like footage in where you can like actually see them properly. Um, oh, I just burped. It's cute. Uh, we're gonna go get coffee and I will check in with you then. My eyebrows were so numb, I didn't feel a thing. It was great. Yeah, do you reckon if I punch you in the face, what do you reckon will happen? <laughs> Let's find out. Do it. <laughs> Dead ass punch up. Yeah. <laughs> Hello! Last time I saw you, I don't think I had glasses, so... By the way, I just got new glasses, like, two months ago. Anyway, I'm back now! Hi! Um, and I'm getting a touch-up for my eyebrows. That is a really scary angle, and I should never do that again. Basically, you always get a touch-up. It's not that, like, she fucked them up, she has to touch them up. We, I would have done it earlier, except that Katie was sick, and then I was busy, and then I had to move houses, and you know, a whole lot of stuff has happened in between then and now. Um, I think I'm going to go a little bit darker than what they are now, not because I don't like them, because they're more than what I had before, like, last time I had tint on, this is like my natural eyebrows, so like, they're definitely darker, it's just that I thought they would be a little bit darker, and they're they're just too natural for me like I want I want drawn on eyebrows like <laughs> if I'm gonna do it I'm gonna motherfucking do it okay like I ain't playing around so yeah I'm gonna get them a little bit darker which is no fault of Katie's because I did say I wanted them natural and now that they're on my face I'm like maybe I do want them a little bit unnatural um I'm actually just in the car park of the Raffers. I'm going to grab them a coffee and then I'm going to head there and yeah, we'll talk. I'm going to answer all of your questions that you guys have asked me on Instagram about my tattoo, eyebrows, cosmetic tattoos, all that jazz. So yeah, don't be angry at me. So all of the questions you've asked me on Instagram over the past, like, like I said, like probably a month, will be answered as of right now so i've got them all written down in a notebook all your questions most of them are basically pain related so there's that no it doesn't hurt but i'm probably gonna go over that again i'll go into like a little bit more depth but yeah it doesn't really hurt it is what it is like you're etching into the skin so but i'm trying to figure out what the fuck i want to do with my hair and it's really it's a hard life for some, honestly. I think. Oh, this is a good 
look, I should just keep it like that the whole time. <laughs> Did you like that? <laughs> you look so beautiful. Thank you, I look like a slug. <laughs> you look like a thumb. <laughs> how Brittany likes to take photos. Look, you can't even tell. No, you Both can't the tell the difference. <laughs> They look great with this cream on them. I know. Isn't that your best angle? I think I should definitely do this. Like, that's it. I'll walk out of the salon now. I like your little ring. How clever. It's like diamonds. Yeah, you like it when you get your hair full day. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Did they smell? I smell so good. <laughs> so I just look out there and she's like smelling the soap that I put out there. And she's just like. <laughs> <laughs> amazing. It smells really good. Doesn't it smell beautiful? Oh my god, they do look amazing. They read it this time because she tweezed them. Because my eyebrows are real bushy. They look so good though. They look so good. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, yeah, yeah, ooh. yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, bang, ooh. bang, bang. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what is wrong with us today? I'm not sure, but I thoroughly enjoy it. <laughs> Do you like them? I'm so obsessed. Oh, it's not my good idea. <laughs> Oh, I love You look them. beautiful. <laughs> oh. I feel like this whole video is like just a bad angle of everyone. They look so good. They do. Come and show Brit. Brittany! Yeah, Brittany. Oh, I see. I didn't know you were still here. Grand reveal. What do you think? Oh, they look so good. They look so, so good. We ended up doing a combination, so I feathered and I then thought, say. I shaded in between just from. Here, let me get closer for you. <laughs> the color looks amazing. Isn't it? That's yeah. just because I got them done and I wanted yeah, them darker. Wow. That looks so Isn't good. good? Yes. <laughs> they look so good. Thanks. They look so good. Thank you. You look. <laughs> You're chilling now. <laughs> So it's day after, I've just like, I got home, it was like, they opened to really late, so I booked in at 5 and I left at about, I want to say 10 past 6, and I was like, you know what, I don't really feel like vlogging, there's like a short clip of me in the car, so I might just leave all of the like, healing process for another video. A short update, like, on my last pair of brows uh, they were obviously a little bit lighter, but obviously the heal process is pretty well the same as far as I know um, I will say the pain the second time round is marginally more so the first time when I got numbed I didn't feel a single thing like not a prick and then this time it definitely there was like a little bit of like a sensation there and then she does a second round of numbing in between and then that really helps and then I pretty well didn't feel anything up until we started doing like last minute tweets so that's when I started feeling it, obviously because the nubbing was wearing off. But yeah, generally it does not hurt. Um, like I said, there is a bit of a sensation, but I wouldn't call it pain. Like, yeah. Anyway. And then for the healing process, uh, it's pretty easy to look after. The main thing is you really don't want to get them wet because you can practically just wash the colour out. You don't want to scratch your eyebrows because you just scratch the colour off. Like those sorts of things. It is a pretty... Um, easy tattoo to look after after it's healed but in the healing process it's a little bit more difficult purely because um, the tattoo is not so far in as compared to like a normal tattoo so you've got like layers of your skin basically and then it's not as far like deep in as you would like a regular tattoo it's just a cosmetic tattoo which is why it's only temporary and not a permanent 
tattoo. So that's why it's a little bit more difficult to heal when it is healing, but after that it's generally a pretty easy tattoo, like you don't really have to look after it that much. Um, and then it obviously just depends on skin type, on how long it's going to last and those sorts of things. I did get a cute little uh, frequently asked questions type of thing done with Katie, which I'll put in after this. So if you had any questions and you've asked them on my Instagram, they will be here. What would you say a second appointment is more of like a touch up, obviously? Yeah. So your first appointment is designed just to get the general shape and outline of your brows. Uh, your touch-up is to ensure that all the pigment stays in the skin. So after your first appointment, sometimes it can go a little bit patchy or light in some areas, and your touch-up appointment is to make sure that all the colour stays in and you end up with perfect brows. So what are the different types of brows that you can get? So the ombre, the... Yep, so you can have feathering combination, which is a touch of feathering and uh, ombre or you can have a full ombre brow which is more of a solid look. And will it fade completely when it fades like in 12 months or? No. So it takes about two to five years to fade uh, and everyone's skin's a little different so everyone fades um, at different rates. Uh, you have to fact, uh, factor in uh, the skincare that you're using. If it has AHAs in it, that's going to fade the brows um, and how much you're in the sun because the sun will fade them as well. How do you get the perfect colour for your skin tone? Is it up to the client or do you help decide? Um, that's up to the client. I mean, we test a whole heap of different colours on your skin before we go ahead and you get to choose. Can I still wear makeup? Yes, you can wear makeup, you just can't get them in your eyebrows for 7 to 10 days at least. Um, so that's no foundation and no pencil. Can a brow tattoo be fixed if I don't like it? Yeah, if you don't like your tattoo, it is hard to fix it, but it can be done. If it's as simple as uh, making them thicker, that's fine. Uh, but once the pigment's in the skin, it is hard to get it out. So um, you want to make sure you nail your shape first up. And it can be lasered? It can be lasered off. Um, I don't do laser removal, but apparently it's around three to five treatments. And then you have to do them every four to six weeks. So it is a process. Mm -hmm. So I've got a question. I thought it was like an actual tattoo. Can you explain the difference in dyes? Um, so the difference in dyes from a regular tattoo to a facial tattoo is because the skin is a lot finer and thinner on the face, obviously you don't want to be putting a heavy ink into the skin um, and it's a completely different technique to normal tattooing. You don't go as deep, um, it's just under the surface of the skin which is why it fades quicker um, and yeah. Hang out of 10, you've had your eyebrows tattooed, how would you explain it? Because I don't think it hurt. Okay, so I had mine, I did mine ombre. Um, the, I did the whole first section with no numbing. So I think it's fine. It feels hot. Like it feels kind of... Like a cat scratch. Yeah, like a, like a scratch when it, it all, all the blood kind of comes up underneath it and you feel a pressure and it feels hot. Um, the second lot of numbing definitely helps because then after that I didn't feel a thing. Um, how do I find a good salon? Do you have any recommendations for, not obviously local, but like Sydney, Brisbane, those sorts of things? So you've got Susie McIntosh in Sydney for brows, Victoria Jade in Melbourne, uh, I don't know anyone in Perth, um, and of course Brow Daddy if you're overseas. Would they be able to send you a message if they really wanted? Just on Instagram or something? Yeah, they can send me a message. Tell us about the healing process. Okay, so it takes seven to ten days to heal. Uh, you need to put uh, a cream on, so we provide you with a cream. It's a mix between a vitamin A and a vitamin D. Uh, you need to keep them dry, no makeup, and put the cream on three to four times a day. How often do you need to get them redone? Uh, Touch-ups are every 12 months. If you have a skin that holds the pigment quite well, then maybe it might be every two years, depending on your skin. And then last of all, how much does it cost? Uh, brow tattoo for our clinic is $400, and then your touch-up is $55, but everywhere else is obviously have their own prices. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to sign off for now, and like I said, I'll do a proper update on how my eyebrows have healed 
first time and this time so touch up uh and yeah bye